Right, time for the Pledge's very own version of Hold the Front Page. Team, take a look at this front page of a recent edition of the Bristol Post and tell me what you see. Majid, in a sentence. Is that the guy running for mayor? Is that the guy running for mayor? That's right. Yeah. Carol, what did you see? OK, fair enough. June, any problems with it? Well, is that really his picture? That's really the mayor's picture. It OK. Is. Afwa? It's not running for mayor. That is the mayor of Bristol. The mayor. And yeah. why have they made him look like a criminal with, like, a close-up mugshot? Ah. Ah. You see, Afwa goes to top of the class. We've had racist statues, racist advertising campaigns, <laughs> and now we have a new first, a racist front page. When that edition of the paper hit the streets, it lived up to the nickname of front pages given in the trade and caused quite a splash to you and me, but not Afwa. It might look like a classic regional paper focusing on the local mayor's ambitious plans for his city's future. But to the ever-expanding race industry, on this occasion, in the shape of Bristol's Commission for Racial Equality, they saw a criminal mugshot that was, quotes, offensive and inappropriate, and failed to promote a positive image for our local black leadership. Regrettably, while the editor initially dismissed this hokum as, quotes, beyond ludicrous, he's since apologised and promised an extra layer of consideration in the newsroom. You know what? In truth, you can find offence anywhere if you choose. After all, sometimes Afwa even pretends to be upset with me. <laughs>
Does anyone bother to read the words on that front page? He's actually introducing a new circle line bus route. Yes. So it's nothing to do with this picture or anything else. But yeah. what really upsets me is Mike Norton, the paper's editor, has caved into this nonsense. On, the, on day one, when he was criticised um, by certain uh, you know, sections of the community, he actually said this was beyond ludicrous. And then he, he caved yeah, in did. the following day, which has, I think it's a shame because we, you know, if, because you see a black person's face on the front page of a newspaper, not dressed the way you want it to be dressed, him to be dressed, doesn't mean it's racist. Can you think of any other okay. examples let's, of politicians get, framed okay, that way? Okay, let's, um, and we'll, I'll actually read your statement from the editor in a moment. June, did you see any race when you saw the front page well, of the Bristol Post? Well, when I saw that, I mean, I know Marvin Rees, I've known okay. him a very long time. When I saw that image, I didn't recognise it as him. I didn't know who it was. I, okay. I had no, no idea. Yeah. Um, I think to Afwa's point, and I think Afwa's point is completely spot on, because when you see who Marvin Rees actually is, the image they use has nothing to do with who the real is man is. Well, I think it's back to what she's saying in terms of perception. I wonder if they would have done the same thing to a white politician, and I would say probably not. So <clears throat> let's, I think let's, uh, let me start by saying, and I think the uh, point that we made earlier about unintentional jokes falling flat. This mm. could have been um, an unintentional uh, front page that was simply uh, a mistake to publish, but they may not have intended explicitly to be racist, but I think actually what well, we do... Surely that's... Otherwise you're saying... Of course. I mean, yeah, that's but quite a damaging... Ruled again. So yeah, of course, yeah, they're on yeah, so I'm yeah. caveating what I'm about okay, to say next, right? Okay. With, so with all that throat clearing, I do think we have to remember, if you remember the footballers' controversy, where footballers, a black footballer who bought a home was treated one way, and a white footballer who bought a home in, in the newspapers was mm. treated another way. Raheem Sterling. Um, Raheem Sterling. And I think that whether it's that or this Google three black kids and Google three white teenagers on Google and see what the algorithm produces. We explain not, to the viewers what what happens when you do well, that. The algorithm on it's AI, so it's not a human being, but it's trained by human beings. The algorithm when you Google three black teenagers shows three mugshots, and mm -hmm. when you Google three white teenagers shows a happy family. Yeah. It, so, shows, it shows teenagers playing basketball. Nice and friendly. Sporty, wholesome. That was um, 2016. It has changed, yeah. but that was what the AI naturally produced as a result of human... But perception. trained by humans, right? right? So I think I think the important point here behind the story is there is a societal uh, implicit bias that we need to acknowledge well, and there address. Is. There we is need to acknowledge and address that. Regardless of the intentions in this specific case, it does reinforce an overall uh, societal implicit bias. I wonder why they didn't just show him in that other photo. It it is, do we, do we yeah. know whether no. he was actually upset about this? Because I would have thought, as a journalist, that if a mayor gets the whole of the front page to actually talk about what he's doing in the business and the stuff he's creating, I think most mayors would be pretty delighted with not that. Not if the image is depicting them as a but primary we, figure of fear. But do we... Mm -hmm. I, they well, would I, not be happy with that. I think it's depicting we as are. a primary... Is that well, you two are. You want <laughs> I'm, I'm, curious, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm curious, because I think I've explained why, to me, that feeds into a narrative that is many people's perception. June and Majid have also touched on that. I'm just curious, having listened to us, whether you take at all seriously that that I know you didn't see it that way, but do you I, take seriously that other people I see, the mayor, see it that way? I see the mayor of this area talking about a new circle line bus route because I've just read the words on the front page. That's what I see. I swear to God, I see nothing else. It, it, it yes, never but occurred to me. understood us explaining how yeah, there are perceptions you're and black is, people are pictured differently. Do you take that seriously? But all you're happening. trying to do is convince me that it's racist I'm and, I, and I don't believe it is. I'm I not don't trying to believe it is. Let's hear what the editor said. Bristol Post editor Mike Norton. There was absolutely no deliberate attempt to undermine Marvin Rees in the way in which his portrayal has been perceived. But perception is key here, and frankly, this organisation reaps what it has sown in that respect. Our thinking mm. felt short on this occasion. Okay. What should have been a positive page about a black leader's vision for our city was undermined by the way we presented it. We will work even harder to ensure that does not yeah. happen again. And that's yeah, the yeah, this is my point. Just, that's what we want to hear. Know, there's no intention. Imagine. There was clearly by that statement, they didn't intend to be racist, but they've recognised there's a perception that is important to be aware of. And that's Afwa's point, that we, we shouldn't keep repeating those same mistakes. Why are you and so when, insane? And Jim? when we <clears throat> make the mistake, I think this is a really important point to make in the sense that often with these issues, what happens is when you are from the majority group and a minority raises to you, raises it to you, the natural response is to go on the defence and to somehow feel that you're under attack. And I think the way he responded is brilliant and should be commended because he's acknowledged he didn't know he was doing it, but now that the point has been what? raised, he will do better next time. That's, that's all he we said can what he ask said for. Because he's been told to by whoever owns the well, he He's done it. Who knows? It's a teaching moment, isn't it? Right. Correct. Yeah.